Welcome again. Right now we're at 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verses 9 through 11. The law enforced by Paul. Yeah, you heard it right. The law enforced by Paul. You know, there are a lot of people say, well, you know, it says in the scriptures that we're not going by the law anymore. We're just by grace, just by faith. And you know, they always quote Paul. They don't quote Jesus. They don't quote Peter. They don't quote James or John. They quote Paul. It's like, it's like there's no law anymore. It's all just grace and faith, you know, and that's it now. But you see, they take it out of context. This passage written by the same person, Paul, enforces law. Verse 9, don't you know that the unrighteous will not inherit God's kingdom? Don't you know that the unrighteous will not go to heaven? Don't be deceived. Neither the sexually immoral, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor male prostitutes, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor covetous, nor drunkards, nor slanderers, nor extortionists will inherit God's kingdom. There's a long list right there and Paul just drove it to the floor. He just nailed it down to the floor. He said, this, 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 and this, and this, and this. If you do this stuff, say goodbye to God's kingdom. That is is law. That is Torah, my friend. If you don't get it, that is Torah. Paul here drove it right home. Paul made this list as clear as clear could be. And he said, listen, any of you guys, and listen, he's talking to the church, okay? Keep this in mind. He's talking to the church in Corinth. He's not talking to the world. The world's in worse shape, okay? Paul is talking to the church. And he says to the church, to the members of the church, that if you do these things, oh, well, you know, God understands and Jesus will forgive and you're under grace. No, not at all. He says, if you do these things, you will not inherit the kingdom of God, period. Paul says, some of you were such, were, key word there, were. A lot of people don't understand the past is the past. When someone repents, when they have become a new creation in Christ, when they have become born again, they are not the same person. That is the past, okay? And a lot of people don't understand that. They think that once you're a thief, you're always a thief. Once you're this way, you're always that way. It's like hopeless. No hope. I mean, people are so hopeless anymore. Listen, if you were one of these things, well, thank God you were, but you aren't now. And if that's the truth that you were like this, but you aren't now, well, you know what? God won't hold that against you because the whole law of repentance comes into play. Paul says, but you were washed, but you were sanctified, but you were justified in the name of the Lord Jesus and in the spirit of our God. Now listen, you were, but you're not now. You're washed, sanctified, justified. You can't say you're washed, sanctified, and justified if you are practicing those things now. Key word there is were. You were like this. You used to be, okay? But now you're not. It's been washed away. Now, a lot of people say, well, I'm washed in the blood, but they keep on sinning. You can't do that. That is trampling the blood of Christ under your foot. That is serious business, okay? You can't do that. If you're washed, if the dirt is gone, it's gone. I mean, if you're free from sin, you're free. If you're sanctified, you're sanctified. And because of that, because the old sin is gone, because the old lust is gone, now you are justified. Hallelujah. Keep seeking God, and if you do with all your heart, you will find him. Call upon him, and he will show you great and mighty things. Love you guys.